Okay, today we're going to be replacing a LCD screen for an E-Machines uh, model number E627. Um, first thing we want to do is take out the battery. We don't want any power whatsoever. Open in the laptop. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, there's going to be uh, four rubber grommets or four rubber bumpers uh, on the four corners of the LCD screen that hide uh, four screws. Now you're going to take those off and put them to the side here and uh, unscrew those four screws. After you take the four screws out, uh, you're going to take the bezel off. Uh, just put your fingers underneath the bezel and just kind of clench uh, your fingers in an upward motion and just pull out the bezel from its casing. Put it to the side. Once you take the bezel off, there will be two more screws, one on the left, one on the right, on the inner side of the bracket that's holding the uh, screen to the actual laptop. I'm going to take those screws out. Should be a total of 12 screws altogether. And this one screw right here, this will be later on. If we have to take it out, this will be 13 screws. Uh, so now you can flip the screen up. And let me turn it around. You can see it a little bit better. Put this here so I can stop this reflection. Or maybe not. This should be okay. Uh, you're going to have a, uh, a long, I uh, think it's a 30-pin connector, and you're also going to have a red and white down here at the bottom um, for the backlight. So you're just going to peel this tape back here. Do it very slowly, very carefully, and it'll just slide out. Now we can uh, take out the red and white plug. So this one is wounded on the bottom. It's a, it's around this uh, plastic standoff. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna have to take those off. Sometimes it's not. This one is. So it's just this one more screw. It's gonna hold down this green circuit board. Just take off the circuit board. It'll be a whole lot easier. And then just unplug it. After you unplug it, we can uh, we can start taking this screen off. Turn it around, see that reflection will get a little bit better on the screen here. So now we're just going to take the you have three screws on each side of this uh, screen bracket here. Just going to go ahead and take those off. Put them to the side.
take the old screen off. Uh, the new screen it's going to come with a plastic covering with tape uh, just take that off and go ahead and put your new screen back into the bracket you have big hands be patient because these screws are small but they'll eventually go in All right, once you have the uh, bracket back on, let's just turn it back around and put the long pin back in. Snap the bracket back in, put the tape back, uh, nice and neat there, and we'll go ahead and plug this in first. Try and wrap it around like it was initially. I'm going to try and wrap it around this standoff here. That way it fits like it originally was. Put the screw back on. Um, that's it. We'll just turn it around. Push the LCD screen back. Just make sure all the cables look good. Nothing's pinching. Put our inner screws back in on the inside. And after we do that, we can put our bezel back on, we'll snap it down.
put our four corner screws back in. And that's pretty much it. After you get these four screws back in, just going to put your rubber um, bumpers back over the top. If you if you didn't take off your bumpers correctly and the back-to-back -back sticking stuff came off, uh, you can use uh, rubber cement. You just put a real small dab of it, and uh, that'll hold it in place. And you'll still be able to take it off without any too much trouble. And that's it. That's how you replace a LCD screen for an e-machined model E627. Thank you for watching and I hope the video helped you uh, replace your screen. Thanks.